I'll tell you the story of Jonah, a really remarkable tale. A peaceful and humdrum existence he had, till one day he went for a sail. The weather were grand when they started, but later, at turn of the tide, the wind started blowing, the water got rough, and Jonah felt funny and sad. When ships started pitching and tossing, he tried hard his feelings to smother. At last, he just leant his head over the side, and one thing seemed to lead to another. When sailors saw what he were doing, it gave them a bit of a jar. They didn't mind troopers enjoying themselves, but thought this here was going too far. Said one, is there out you can think of to stop you from feeling so bad? And Jonah said, aye, lift me over the side and chuck me in, there's a good lad. The sailor would not want to argue. He said, reckon that you know what's best. So he picked Jonah up by the seat of his pants and chucked him in as per request. A grampus came up at that moment and seeing the old man hard set, it swam to his side and it opened its mouth and said, come in lad, out of the wet. His manner were kindly and pleading, as if to say RSVP, said Jonah. I've eaten an attic or two, but I never thought one would eat me. The insider Grampus surprised him. It was the first time he'd been behind scenes. He found accommodation quite ample for one, but it smelled like a tin of sardines. Then over the sea they went cruising, and Jonah were filled with delight. With his eye to the blowhole in Grampus's head, he watched ships that passed in the night. I'm tired of watching, said Jonah. I'll rest for a minute or so. I'm afraid as you won't find your bed very soft, said the grampus. I've got really hard row. At that moment, up came a whale boat, said Jonah. What's this here we've struck? They're after my blubber, the grampus replied. You'd better hold tight while I duck. The water came in through the spy hole and hit Jonah's face a real slosher. He said, shut your blowhole, and grampus replied. I can't, lad, it needs a new washer. Jonah tried hard to bail out the sea, but found all his efforts in vain. For as fast as he emptied slops out through the gills, they came in through blow all again. When it finished, they came to the surface, and Jonah looked out and he saw. They were stuck on a bit of a sandbank that lay, one rod, pole or perch from the shore. Said the Grampus, we're in shallow water. I've brought you as far as I may. If you sit on the blow all on top of my head, I'll spout you the rest of the way. So Jonah obeyed these instructions, and the grampus, his lungs did expand, then blew out a fountain that lifted Joe up and carried him safely to land. There was tears in their eyes when they parted, and their love filled their hearts up to full. The grampus went off with a swish of its tail, and Jonah walked back home to Wolf. <laughs>